Jeremy. What's up, Jeremy? How you doing? Hey, Bart. How are you? Good. Okay. Uh, we're playing 2-5. It's a 500 buy-in. I am $1,900 effective. The villain in the hand is middle position with 2200 And the button, who doesn't really play a giant role, he's um he's a wild player. He pretty much never folds free flop and he loses. He's a losing player. Um, so pre-flop under the gun. So you said you're, gun, I'm sorry, you one, said you're, did you say you're 1500 effective or nine? So, um, 1900. 19. So you guys are deep for a two, five, 500. Count are, back. Uh, so a little background to this game, a uh, table just broke. We just filled up uh -huh. the casino closed in about a half hour. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. this is the night long session. Okay. okay. Um, the, villain, the villain in the hand is a reg. He's pro. He does this for a living. Mm -hmm. Um, I mostly play one, two, uh, but I have no problem stepping up to two, five. This, it comes to it. Uh, we have a little bit of history, but he just sat down this, this orbit. So okay. It, he's relatively new to the table. So yeah. under the gun, under the gun, one fold, uh, villain in riddle, middle position raises to 20, the cutoff and the button both call small blind folds and I complete, um, then the flop. Comes. Well, you got to tell us her hand, right? And I assume you're in the big blind. Oh yeah, eight, six of spades. Eight, in the big space. in the big blind. Uh, in the big blind. Yeah. Uh, okay, so eight six of spades. Okay, so MP to twenty, cut off and button call. Hero calls in big blind with eight six of spades. Um, so it's you know the nittiest of nitty preflop police might possibly say that this is a fold. This is never a fold for me. Um, so it looks like it's eighty bucks, hmm. right? With the button player who pretty much calls with anything, I was, you know, and I, I figured it was it was an okay call. You could throw in the um, squeeze here once in a while, maybe with a direct suited connector as an overlay with some of the dead money, like an 8 7 suited, yeah, just once like in a while. Eight, eight, yeah. Squeeze, just because I know with the button in there that this guy might have a little bit looser of an opening range. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the flop comes down, seven of clubs, four of diamonds, two of spades, giving me a gut shot and a backdoor flush drop. Okay, so yeah, because um, you have checked. the eight six, right? Eight six of spades, seven four Correct. deuce rainbow. Okay, yep. Uh, villain bets out sixty. I check. Villain mm. bets sixty five. Cut off folds, button calls, and I complete. Cut off folds, button. Who you said? You said covers, right? Is that wild. right? Co he, but he covers. He's calling. He, covers. Uh, no, the button is a uh, five hundred stack. The the oh, villain okay. in the hand, the under one is okay, twenty two hundred. So 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 five hundred. Okay, so. Button calls. Okay. Button and it, calls. And over to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I complete. Uh, the turn. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's not. So, so, so uh, 65. So it's, um, looks like it's maybe uh, uh, what? What? 275? Is that right? Oh, uh, yeah. 275. Right around there. I, I was just going to say there is something to be. I mean, obviously, this is not a limped. It's not a limp pot, so MP is betting, right, as a C bet. But, you know, it's really, really a dry board, and you can easily make the case in the right scenarios where, you know, you might C bet without a pair here if you're the preflop raiser, if you're MP. So, like, if I had, you know, king, queen with a back door, probably something towards, like, the end of maybe the possibility of picking up some sort of straight draw, like wheel draws, right? Like ace five, ace three, stuff like that. The only thing that, the reason why I bring the, bring this up to note is that it's unfortunate the button's a little bit short because, but if you're saying he's wild and he'll call with anything, I could definitely see a check raise here being profitable. Um, I would like to see the button a little bit deeper so that if you get through pre PFR, and the button calls like you're gonna be able to leverage the dynamic nature of the board and like he'll have a hard time holding on with like seven x because if you go to like if you go to like 225 here the button might even be faced with just like all in right if preflop razor folds the button might just go with it so it's kind of weird right you know yeah it was just it, the stack to pot ratio was just a little bit weird so i didn't yeah. i didn't want to raise and get I didn't want him to see a three bet, pretty much. Yeah. A uh, four bet. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's go to the turn. So, uh, turn is the ace of spades. Ace um, of spades. Okay. I, ace of spades. So, so you pick up the this flash draw. draw. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. The villain, I check. Yep. In flow, the villain was shuffling 225 and 25 chips and didn't think too long, just threw the whole stack out, ended up being 225. The button folds. 
and it comes back to me and I, uh, I think about it for a little bit because I'm thinking about check raising, but I decide on a call. This is interesting. This is the, definitely, yeah, this is where I would, well, what what well, what's kind of interesting. Cause like when you take a look at if, if the MP didn't have ace high C bets on the flop, like say he just was like, I don't see bet into three people in this game without something. Right. So I'm not going to have ace king or ace five or ace three. Right. If, if that were the case, then then it's really just kind of scratching your head how why he's betting the turn or what he's betting with on the turn here, right? Because it would just be like pocket aces or if you flopped a set or if you had like ace seven suited, right? Because um, is he yeah. betting with like kings, queens, jacks on the turn here? For especially for this yeah, size, I pretty much waited him to like middling pocket pairs to suited upper suited connectors. I would feel that would be a, like a standard. You think open he's gonna from him. right, but you don't. But you don't think he's betting like queens or jacks here for two twenty five into two seventy five on I the turn, think, do you? I think he would. I think he had it in just the just the way he acted. He that money. I think on the flop, he knew he was gonna fire again at it. I don't know what's what's your, what's your was, name. Uh, I'm here. Jeremy. I like. I kind of like a check raise here. I, I think that when you complete given this action pre right 20 call call obviously you're gonna have eight six you have a ton of hands a high yeah, volume I, I like amount of hands of here and I've... and i think that there is a fair chance that the opponent doesn't have anything anyways i think this is probably a profitable check raise if you get a bet fold once in a while um out of a hand that's actually some sort of showdown hand but i mean you have like all the aces up here you have five three you could have been slow playing a set. You didn't want anybody to go away, right? Don't you have a shit ton of value here? Absolutely. I think I think I'm weighted to the pretty much the nuts here. I could have sevens, fours, deuces. Just a lot uh, of a lot of three. hands that are better than one pair. Absolutely. You have a lot of hands that are better than one pair. From the way that you say the pacing is on the turn, it doesn't seem to me like this guy's got pocket aces. I mean, I guess it's you know it's possible. He can't even it's re-raise possible, you though, really. But- because you have five I, three, yeah. you have five three, right? Like, I mean, maybe I'm, he I'm would, sure. but he's not really supposed to. And this is because you're completing out of the big blind. So, I kind of, I mean, at this stack I, depth, I kind of like a check raise. I got to be honest with you. Okay, and but you, but you call for my preference. Just uh, some people I'm talking to about this hand. Uh, would you go like three and a half x four x if you were to raise in that position? So. Y- after the t- if you want once you call the let's see here once you call the two twenty five you have sixteen hundred left so if you were to go to like six fifty and he called the pot would be like fifteen seventy five and you'd have like nine hundred behind something like that well if you went to six fifty you'd have like twelve or thirteen behind right yeah well yeah 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 12. yeah so you'd have about a pot size bet left yeah so you know you could you could definitely I could definitely go to see going to seven it's interesting because you could, you know, if you're just trying to get the folds out from like jacks, queens, kings, which I don't necessarily buy with the sizing, you don't have to go mm-hmm. that large. But um, with some of this other stuff, um, you know, if you know the ace X, like you're going to put them in a in a world of hurt on a lot of rivers here too. And there's a lot of yeah. there's a lot of rivers that you can bluff here. It's kind of unfortunate that there's no front door here too because you could bluff that. But I mean, one liners to straights. Um, you know, a six, a five, uh, a six, a five, I would say a three uh, are all, am I missing one? Three, yeah. five, six. Yeah. Are all kind of scary and an eight also too. Cause I think you need to turn that into a bluff as well. So, um, you know, those are all sort of viable, but okay. So you call, you only call. So you put I in 450, call. right? So it's 725, right? Is that right? No. Um, 225. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, I've been 27, but I'm not accounting for okay. a rake. Yep. Um, so river comes Jack of hearts, which so is just a total isn't, rake. Isn't, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think for, you know, my, my standard time and I end up checking, um, which I think it back at it. I didn't really like. I think I should be leading there. Really? You but after? Up, after wait, a minute, wait, 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 wait. You're gonna check call the turn, and you're gonna lead this the uh, well, Jack X River. The, well, on the 
pretty much I checked in flow because I didn't take the I didn't take the betting lead on the turn because I wanted a raise, but I ended up just chickening out. Right, but I mean, if you've so pl- if you've played it this way, like you're gonna and you lead at the end, I just I don't, it'd be yeah, hard pressed for me to see this guy fold anything. Occasionally, this is why you might actually play like a five three this way, where um, at these stakes, once the pot gets big, even though it's it's sort of against theory and somewhat illogical on paper that like if you slow played five three why would you ever lead the river the problem sometimes at these stakes though is is that you can't let the guy fucking check back like a hand that he's supposed to value bet right like if you're playing against good players yeah. you know they're gonna bet the end and they're also gonna maybe triple barrel then it obviously the play is to check if you slow play the hand like five three but these guys mm-hmm. you might but i mean i i just i don't know man like uh, i would i would definitely not do yeah. an upfront bluff here the way the hand, the way the hand played out I, I didn't think it was a good bluff, so I checked. He ended up betting, I feel, half pot, 350, which I felt was kind of small. I don't think for too long, and I ended up shoving, which is uh, 1150 more to win 13, uh, 14 to 25. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the pro. I, I mean, I, I'm going to readily admit that I'm not best. I am not probably the best to come up with like the best combos of bluffs off of the top of my head in real time because I don't get in there in the weeds with a lot of these combos in solvers and stuff like that. But the theory, I mean, my understanding here is is that you probably want to have a five or three or some of these middling cards. Now you do it. I mean, I guess you have a six, but you want to have like a five in your hand here so that your opponent, and this is really nitty, this is really nitpicking so that your opponent doesn't ever have a five. Cause if he ever has like a five in his hand, somehow that becomes more of a call with what you're representing here, or you want to have some pair here so that your opponent doesn't have some set blocker. Like if you had yeah. four, six or something like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's really when you get into the yeah. nitty thing, it sounds to me like you just think he's sort of value betting off something that he's going to fold to a shove. It's just a really, really strange line here because again, I go back and maybe you don't know, <laughs> but is he betting like ace, king, ace, queen here on the flop? And is he continuing to bet across all three streets for value? Because that's what you're really trying to get him to fold here, right? Like, you don't expect him to fold a set of jacks, like you said, when he was betting jacks on the turn, right? I, I uh, pretty much, I like queens, tens, um, king, queen, things of that sort. Uh, I felt like I would get a fold out of, which I felt he was weighted to. Um, and weak aces, I could get to fold too. I don't think he's folding ace, king. I don't think he's folding ace, queen. But is, he, are, is, he, so. but, but is he playing those hands that way, though? Played as a cross or like ace, three, ace, five, which makes more sense as a flop bet. Um, and then um, value betting cross river. I, I just... I, don't... I, I felt like he would have some strength after continuing on the turn with the button player involved. I just felt like he had to have, you know, at least a pair. Um, so I, in my head, I really thought he was weighted to like Queens. Wait a minute. Not yeah, but you're, you, you, he's not, he doesn't have Queens here, right? At the end. Um, no, I never, I never see what he has. No, but he what claims. I'm saying is, but, but what I'm saying, I'm just trying to make sure that you get in line with the logic here. He's not going to have Queens oh. here at the end, right? He's not going to be yeah, betting the flop turn and river with queens here, especially when you can have a wheel draw, right? You're in the big blind. We yeah. talked about how you have a high volume of hands. You can easily have a wheel draw that pairs on the turn. That might even be with some of your most likely hands. Ace five, ace three, right? Those okay. are, so I mean, it's just not going to, ha- I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to be hard on you. You know what I mean? I'm just saying no, that. No, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the wheel draws are really like in, that. wheel draws are really like a big part, I think of your, of your calling range. So, you don't have a great combo here to do it with. Um, I don't, I'm not in that line with your logic here in terms, you know, in, in the sense of like what, unless he's triple barreling a lot, like somebody said in the, in the live chat. So I would just give it up to be honest with you. You shove for 1150 okay. and it gets through. It gets through. He, um, he pretty much like mumbles to himself that like, I have to have a set here and ends up, Folding uh, a couple hands later, he's still pretty upset and ends up saying he had ace king. And I don't buy it, but you know, it's possible. 
Did he say so he, he said he had Ace King? He said he had Ace King there. I mean, if he did have Ace King and played it this way, the bluff might work. I mean, he bets three fifty into seven twenty five. So when you shove for eleven fifty, so that's right around. So it's like what twenty two eight for him to call twenty two eight for him to call something like that off the top of my head. Um, it's eleven fifty more to win fourteen twenty five. Uh, he bets three fifty into seven twenty five. So that's right. Just just a hair under eleven hundred, and then you're adding eleven fifty to the pot. So I think it's I think it's twenty two twenty five eight hundred for him to call, if I'm doing that right. Uh, Although I'm not sure how if we were nineteen hundred effective. Wouldn't you would would you have more? You'd have oh shove for eleven fifty more. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So fourteen. So fifteen hundred total. That's my bad. All right. So three fifty. So, uh, so that's. 11 was that that excuse me that's 1075 so 25 75 12 11 50 to call 25 75 11 50 to call um that's a little bit better a little bit more money uh he's getting two to one would you know you might i guess if he had ace king maybe you get him to fold but in general um i'm not a huge fan of uh the combo that you took i like the checker is better you have a high volume of hands on the turn and um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to choose this particular river to um, to necessarily make make that play in. But, uh, but eh, you got balls. It, it went through. I appreciate the call. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And check out the coupon code in the description to try out the Crush Live Poker training site for free.